Most of the generations that came before you thought that all of the stars and planets that we see in the sky revolved around Earth. I mean, who could blame them? You look up with no telescope, no technology, and you see these patterns of lights in the sky that happen to match up with some of our seasons. Of course they revolve around us, right? I mean, you can't feel the ground moving, you can't feel the Earth spinning or it hurtling through space, but through scientific observation, we now know that this is actually happening, that Earth is revolving or traveling around the sun, and our sun is just another star, just like the ones we see in our sky. And there may be some creature or some being on some other planet revolving, traveling, orbiting some other star looking at us as a small speck of light in their sky wondering, why do all the stars move around me? So, what is our place in the universe? I'm Tony with Space But Messier, and welcome to your very own master's level course in astronomy on YouTube. But before we really dive in, I wanna drive home this idea of how big space really is. So far we've talked about all the stars you can see, but what about the ones you can't see? A telescope called the Hubble Space Telescope, this guy right here, which is currently orbiting around Earth. Yes, it lives in space. It found a dark spot in the sky, it zoomed in, snapped a quick photo, and this is what it saw. It's called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. This stretch of sky is so small that you could cover it by holding a grain of sand away from you at arm's length. One grain of sand. Still think we're alone? But what are we really looking at here? Think of it like searching for microbes using an eight foot drinking straw. This image contains over 10,000 galaxies, each of which containing up to billions of stars just like our sun. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself, okay. Stars, galaxies, solar systems. First, let's take a look at where we live, our place in space, often referred to as our cosmic address. Our planet is estimated to be 4.6 billion years old and is able to support human life because of many factors such as how close we are to the sun, the elements found in our atmosphere, and many more, which we'll get to later. It's one of eight planets in our solar system that all travel around or orbit a star, which we call the sun. They all orbit at different distances and speeds. And all of the celestial bodies here, our star, each planet, the rogue space rocks like asteroids, meteoroids, and comets, which we'll get to once again later, everything that orbits the sun is part of our solar system. And while you look up at all the stars in the sky, while some of them are alone, many of them have their own solar systems with their own planets with different opportunities for different kinds of life. Most of the stars we see are part of one large disc-shaped collection of stars called a galaxy. Now you can think of a galaxy as like a solar system, whereas a solar system, our sun's gravity keeps all the planets orbiting. In a galaxy, each solar system or star orbits around an even larger source of gravity, frequently being a supermassive black hole. Now the Milky Way galaxy is relatively large and hosts more than 100 billion stars and solar systems. Our solar system is located a little over halfway from the galactic center to the edge of the galactic disk. Think about it. Our galaxy hosts more than 100 billion solar systems, and that photo taken by Hubble, comprising no more than a grain of sand from our point of view, shows over 10,000 of those galaxies. Okay, let's move on. Our galaxy is a member of the local group, or a group of about 70 galaxies that are fairly close together. A group containing much more than 70 would be called a galaxy cluster. And on an even larger scale, these groups and galaxy clusters appear to be formed in these massive structures in space, consisting of chains and sheets where galaxy clusters are and voids where almost nothing is. And these bulging areas containing massive amounts of galaxy clusters are called superclusters. Our local group is located in the outskirts of what we call the local supercluster, or Laniakea, Hawaiian for immense heaven. Together, all these structures make up our universe. In other words, the universe is the sum total of all matter and energy, encompassing the superclusters and voids and everything within them in our universe. So our cosmic address would be Earth, Solar System, Milky Way Galaxy, Local Group, local supercluster, or Planeakea, universe. Some people think because of how small we are on the grand scale of the universe, that we, humans, are insignificant. I mean, what if there are like Reapers or the Covenant out there just waiting to make their move? Does that make us unimportant? 
or just the fact that we can actually ponder these ideas and dream of exploring past the stars make us of utmost importance? Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to keep following along with this master's program in astronomy on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.